Hello Taurus, so welcome into your weekend reading. Thank you for clicking onto the video. It's going to be about how your weekend mood is going to be and why it is happening. So let's see what that's going to be for you guys. Let me clear the space first of any previous readings I've done. I've always been doing tarot readings and I'm a herbalist. So the way I understand tarot and energy is to smudge everything out. So let's clear the space of any previous readings I've done, any energy that have been around on the table. And I call in your energy to please come in Taurus and your spirit guides as well. So they can show us what's going on in your weekend. This is the last weekend of August. Ah, oh, of August. The beginning of August, the last weekend of July, guys. Yeah, okay. Can you believe August? My goodness me. I have no words to be honest. So let's have a look and see what will come in for you. Literally the first will be on Sunday. So let's see what will come in for you. What's your mood? What's your mood Taurus? What are we going to have here? Hmm. Oh my. Uh, five of voice, five of swords energy here or voices in the muse tarot. Uh, yeah, win or lose situation. This can be conflict, guys. Be careful. And I don't want to always pick up on some negative stuff here, but this can be a bit of conflict over the weekend. Let's have a look and see. There's going to be a winner or a loser in this conflict that comes in here. Let's hope it's not conflict. I don't want that. Let me just try to get these cards to actually bend. They're very thick cards, so they sometimes don't want to bend the way they're meant to. There we go. So let's have a look and see what is causing this conflict around you. What is going on here? There's a disharmony vibe coming in here. Why? We don't want a weekend of disharmony. Absolutely no. What's causing it? Ace of Voices. Somebody wants to be the winner. Okay, so interesting. This is swords and this is swords as well. So this has got one sword in here and the Ace of Voices is one sword as well. Somebody wants to be the winner. Two people in conflict. Two people both want to be the winners here. There's two people coming up here. We've got an Ace of Wands energy. Oh my goodness gracious. We've got a... Um, <laughs> so interesting. We've got an Ace of Wands energy. We've got an Ace of Swords energy. It's two people in conflict. Okay. Both want to do something or move forward with something. But both feel like they're right and the other one is wrong. So you've got conflicting energies here. This is very interesting. i got to see what's going on here. The Wheel of Fortune, there's been something going wrong. The Magician. And something is trying to get fixed. <laughs> you got a Magician energy coming in here. So it tells me that there is a situation. There is conflict. There is disagreement. That is trying to get fixed by two different people. And this problem has been going on for a while with the Wheel of Fortune being there. So it tells me that the Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse position. It talks about something that's been going on for a while, two people or a situation that's almost got like a run of bad luck or two people in conflict with each other. This has been happening for a while now. But the solution, both of you are thinking you have it and the other one is in the wrong and the other person thinks they have it and you're in the wrong. So it's what is blocking the actual solution is lack of compromise and the thing is it can't be only one person compromising it's got to be both people compromising um there there feels to me that one of you with the ace of wands here wants to have a solution wants to have peace wants to have um a, a, a better feeling moving forward but be careful with this energy with the ace of swords coming up here this is i will win no matter what kind of energy even though I kind of feel like the top energy here, it's more of an energy of, I just want to fix this. I want to fix this and move forward. It doesn't really matter anymore who is right and who is wrong. Can we just get on with it? And then somebody else is going, it really matters to me who is right and who is wrong because I'm right. You see what I'm saying? So let's just go a little bit deeper in here for you guys. If this is your weekend, sometimes... When we see the Five of Swords coming up, it's not a nice thing. When I saw the Five of Swords, it's just like, no way, cannot be a weekend mood. And the thing is, sometimes what we need to do is we need to understand when we see things happening in our world. Like when I see a tarot card like Five of, of Swords energy, there's always deeper meanings to every situation and every card as well in the deck. 
So what happens is sometimes a long time standing problem that is not getting solved. It's like, um, uh, it's like, <laughs> it's like when something comes to a head, it comes to a head to be seen so that it can be healed. And that can be what is happening for you guys. It's happening because it's time for this thing to end so that you can fix it and move on with the magician. Let's go just a bit deeper in here for you guys and look more into this Five of Swords here and see what will come up for you. Let's just split this deck. Two of Swords being very cautious moving forward here because of the conflict that has been happening. Judgment, it is going to stop. It's time. I do feel this energy attached to the top energy here. If this is your energy. Um, it's like the judgment energy. It talks about something that needs to be fixed. Karma that needs to be broken. A situation that needs to stop happening. And then positivity can come in after that. Let's see what's going on underneath here. It's causing a disruption in the home. And it is going to stop. You're going to break it. Thank you, gosh. It can even be a threat of a breakup here with a tower card coming in with the Ten of Cups in the reverse position. It's like somebody's um, attitude there wants to, it's so stuck in being right, they end up sacrificing what's really important to them. So there's a problem. i got to draw one more card for you guys. What is going to be the ultimate outcome here for my Tauruses? Because I feel like you kind of going, I just want to end this. I just want things to stop and we can move forward with each other. But there's another person being extremely stubborn here. This is definitely a relationship. I want to see what's going to come up here for you. What does my Taurus need to know? It's going to be okay. Oh, I knew. When I wasn't sure, and these two cards are exactly the same. Judgment and justice. <laughs> I wasn't sure, you know. Uh, let's put justice right on top of the Five of Swords. I wasn't sure. I was like, ooh. When I saw the Tower card and the Ten of Cups, I was like, oh my. Is this person's behavior going to cause like a literal breakup to come in here? We've also got the, our energy of Libra coming in here as well with the justice coming up there. Um, it is going to be fair. And things, by the way, because you are the one watching the reading, they're going to go your way. Okay, somebody is at the end of the day not going to sacrifice this connection. They're going to do what is right. They're going to find balance. And I feel like the two of you are going to find balance with each other as well with the justice card being there. Whatever is happening between you and this person is 100% connected to karma. But it does not mean that this is a karmic connection. There are karmic connections. I kind of don't feel like this is one of them. I feel like it is a soulmate connection. It's just that you, even soulmates have karma with each other. And for you guys to move forward, there are certain things that need to be worked out between the two of you on a spiritual level. And it's showing itself in your world as conflict. So work out this conflict with them. I like that the judgment card is coming up really strong in your energy up here. which is I feel like this is your energy, which is really good. And um, even though there's a whole bunch of stubbornness coming from the bottom, it is ultimately going to end up in this justice energy. So just, I would advise, you know, keep the vibration not too erratic and out of control. Keep it down and uh, let there be light put onto the situation. I feel like light is going to be, that's what I was just feeling, like light is going to come onto the situation. And it's going to be what ultimately you know what it can be as well? The light that comes, because as I'm looking at this, I only notice now there's like a, a light shining here, you see, coming down on this person. And it could be the dawning on them, of, of, of them, or for them. Uh, there's a dawning that comes onto them, like a, like a light gets switched on inside of them. What is happening here can cause me and this person to literally have a breakup. And I think that is going to be the catalyst that causes them to go, no, 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 that cannot happen because we've got a magician card here. And it's ultimately what solves this problem for you. There we go. Taurus, thank you so much for coming into the reading. I am wishing you all the best over the weekend. Um, sometimes, like I said, things need to come out into the open because when things are hidden or things are not spoken about, they never get solved. And when they come out into the open, that is when that justice card can only show up. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.